Hey everyone, um, I decided to pop on here to do kind of a check-in because I feel that, um, I don't know, a lot of people have like a skewed version of stuff because I think um, when I'm going through something, I usually don't want to make a video about it. <laughs> I'm usually wait till I'm on the other side of it and then I'm like, oh, I kind of figured this all out and then I, I put it all together and make sense of it. But like I figured I'd do kind of a check-in during the middle of it. Um, basically, I have felt stuck. I felt like shit. I felt like I didn't want to do anything. I felt super closed off. Um, for those of you that watch my YouTube and stuff, I haven't made a video in like 60 days. Like there's like no creative anything. Um, I just felt super walled off, super closed off. And honestly, I felt like I was back, you know, 10 years ago, 7 years ago. You know, like... Um, well, at least parts of me were. That was the problem. So um, I had this idea of who I thought I was, who I wanted to be, who I've been trying to be, what I've been working towards. And then um, there was almost like a part of me that wasn't that. And I know what, like, we create a reality. So I was creating this version of me that I wanted to experience, that I wanted to be. But like, you can't really outrun your past by doing that. You can't like just override everything. If it was that easy, everyone would just be doing it. Okay, so yeah, you do create your reality, but um, that reality is created based on um, things that maybe you haven't, that are being created subconsciously or unconsciously as well. So I felt like there's almost like two parts of me at the same time. There was like all these old judgments coming up. Um, there was things that like, I don't think now, <laughs> but at some time part of me did. Very judgmental, there was like things that would like bleed through and it would be like such a like a jolt to my system because I'm like, that's not me at all. Like, I, I don't think that. Like, I'd see an, an old guy and, like, wouldn't think anything of it, but then in the background, be like, oh, look at that old guy. He should get off the road. And <laughs> just very, like, disconnected with what I um, tried to embody. But I think that um, a lot of the reason I couldn't get through it, I was trying to address it like it was something outside of me because it seems so far off from where I'm at now. But it turned out it was actually something within me, like the shitty parts of me that I didn't want to see, the shitty parts of me that I didn't want to address. Um, I know it's still like a long road ahead, but I have some, at least enough clarity to articulate where stuff is coming from, because I didn't even know how to make sense of this. Um, I felt stuck for probably over at least, at least six months where I've been noticing this, but I just kept like, oh, that's not me. And I kind of push it down. Um, rather than taking a good hard look at, oh yeah, you were a dick. Oh yeah, you could have been nicer in that situation. Oh yeah, you were really judgmental back then. Uh, you could have been way nicer to this person. Um, so all those things have just been like right in my face. And um, yeah, I kept trying, to, kept trying to get around them because of where I'm at now rather than just acknowledging that that was me <laughs> and that I... I don't have to stay stuck back there anymore, but I also have to acknowledge that that got me to where I am. And it's important to like honor those parts of me. Um, I haven't started doing that yet. I just had like a big enough breakthrough where I actually feel like there was actually hope. Um, I was fortunate enough to work with my friend Brett Tyrion, who actually like pulled me out of this like funk. But like I was at a loss because I'm like, I was trying to do everything myself too. That was the other part. Um, a lot of this was like me not asking for help and me thinking, why well, teach other people to do this? And like, I'm always helping other people, but then who, where do I turn when I need help? And I know I have a lot of people out there, but it's me actually accepting that. It's me asking for that. Um, there's kind of a lot to it wrapped into that part of it. And now I know it's, it's still me doing it. It's still like this journey to uh, uncover these things for myself, but at least I have some insight. I have some direction. And that was made possible by, by my friend Brett. Like he got me unstuck to the place where I can be like, okay, I can, I know where I'm headed. I know how to, how to address this stuff. Um, I feel like a lot of this stuff is coming up from just collectively too. Um, I don't know if it's like, I don't know, people say, oh, it's uh, the Schumann resonance. Oh, it's the energetic shifts. Oh, it's the solar flares. Maybe it's all of it. Who cares? Um, but it is, it's happening for other people that I've talked to and I'm, I was I was getting down on myself. I was like really hard on myself because I'm like, how the hell are you back here? Like you've done all this stuff. Like why why are you here? Why are you stuck back here? And I almost like I think I was making it harder rather than just acknowledging what was coming up and just taking it for face value. Um, but 
I don't know. It's just, it's been a struggle. And I want people to realize like uh, the struggle happens to everyone. Um, <laughs> you, get to, you only get to see usually the polished end version of this, but like it's been a struggle. It's been arguments. It's been me just being very raw, combative, um, judgmental, just dicky. <laughs> and like, it's weird because I like couldn't stop it either. Like I could see myself doing it and I, I just couldn't even pull myself out of it in the moment. It was like this hang on to what I thought was right and having to like prove myself. I'm like, what the hell? Dude? <laughs> but like, I couldn't stop it either as much as I like, I don't know, it was a weird spot to be in. And then I felt like just part of me was like disconnected from myself. Um, I was so closed off um, connecting to even like my higher self and like even grounding. Like I I couldn't do that. There was like, so, the blocks were so big. And I, I think it's all coming up, like I see it as an opportunity. Um, sucks going through it, but like it's an opportunity to clear this crap that's like in the way. And that <laughs> no, no one's free of it. Um, every person has to go through it. They can pretend that they don't have to and they're all high and mighty, but then they're just avoiding their stuff. And I think that was kind of the trap that I got caught into is like, okay, I've done all this stuff. I've been working on this stuff for years and years and years. Like how, there's no way that this can be even still be a thing. Well, apparently it is, otherwise it wouldn't be coming up. <laughs> um, I've definitely learned that through the process. Um, Ah, oh, man, I, I don't know. I usually have like notes and stuff. But I don't know. I just figured I'd freeform this because I don't know. It's just how I'm feeling right now. And I want other people to know that they're not alone through whatever they're going through, however that looks for them. Um, we all go through it and we all have each other. There's a reason that we have other people in our lives. Uh, sometimes when I'm working with a person, they'll tell me that they're sick. The reason they got sick was to force them to ask for help from others. And like, I hear that <laughs> through other people, but I still had to like go through that one myself and accepting help, um, allowing other people to help you. Yes, you do have people around you that care about you, that love you. And it's, it's okay to ask them. Like they love to, the, the people that love you love to help you. So I think that was kind of like the eye opener there. And I know it's a long road ahead. I know there's some like shitty parts of me that I don't want to look at. I don't want to face. I don't want to deal with. But like, it's also very like liberating because I know that there is light at the end of the tunnel and that these things are coming up for a reason and it's all pushing us somewhere better. Oh, uh, thanks for listening. Love you guys. And yeah, love to hear your comments on this one.